Hey guys, it's Liam here from Tinnitus Treatment and I apologize for the poor lighting, but I really wanted to kick off a video for you about tinnitus and veganism, okay? It's very interesting because there's so many videos about how meat is bad and now there's the whole meat only and now there's, uh, I watched a movie a while ago, vegan, veganism is good, you've got to cut out the bread though, how do you get the protein, how do you get all the carbohydrates? The fact is, you can do either. It's, it's been proven, people have done tests. You can do the meat eating or the all meat situation. I've never done it personally. That heals people of their ailments. You can do the, the vegan thing. That'll heal you of your ailments as well. But here's the thing. The best diet for tinnitus is one that rotates, okay? Why? Because everybody's different. Let me give you a story, okay? When I was young from about the age of eight maybe younger to the age of probably 16, I had ulcerative colitis, which is basically when you have an inflammation in the stomach and your bowels and you have diarrhea all the time. It's like the fucking worst thing in the world. I was shitting my pants basically all through high school. Not a lot of fun, okay? Went to the um, gastroenterologist, which is what they call somebody who works with someone with that condition. They just give you salafolk and all this sort of stuff. And it ga they gave the same thing to my dad who had a similar sort of thing and it basically ruined his kidneys. Go figure, drugs ruin the kidneys, who would have guessed? I was about the age of 22. I thought, fuck this, I'm going to figure it out myself. And I, I did a bit of research online. I found a guy on YouTube who was saying that, you know, if you want to be really healthy, just go raw vegan. That's where I first learned about uh, eating raw vegetables. And I thought, I'll just do it, whatever. Like, I'll give it a go. I went so healthy, no fasting, just healthy veganism, okay? For, and when I say vegan, I mean raw vegetables and fruit, and that's it. No powders, no pills, no anything. Um, no, no fish, no, I'm not pescatarian. I'm talking just fruit and vegetables, that's it. For a month, my ulcerative colitis was gone, like that. And doctors, they don't even know this shit. They won't, they, it, because they don't know it, why? Because they don't tell you to do it. If they knew it worked, they knew it, they'd tell you to do it, right? But here's the thing, okay? When it comes to tinnitus, you're gonna need the meat, okay? I'm not saying that vegans can never get over tinnitus. I've had tons of people who never ate, uh, ate meat and got over tinnitus. It just takes a little bit longer. Because here's the thing, when you eat meat, okay, it's, you, don't, you don't look at the moral side of it, killing animals and whatever. That's irrelevant to, you should be worried about yourself first, okay? Life feeds off life, it's the way it works. But here's the thing when it comes to meat, you have to look at our history, okay, and our biology, and what our bodies are designed to do. Our bodies need certain things, right? The funny thing is, um, when certain species digest certain things, they have, their bodies have the ability to break it down and either eat it, or it's poisonous to some people, or they can get certain proteins from it, or they can get certain uh, minerals from it that other animals can't. And so that's why some animals can live entirely off just one species of leaf. I think the lemur, or I forget, one, one animal in David Adam was Africa, lives just off one leaf. And koalas that predominantly live off eucalyptus leaves, okay? It's just one thing. They evolved to basically live off that. And whether you believe in evolution or not, that's absolutely fine. But the fact is that the science is there, not for evolution, but the, well, for evolution, yeah. But what I'm talking about here without trying to raise that in this conversation is that when animals and species and homo sapiens eat certain things, our body reacts in different ways. And meat is a vital part of well-being. You just have to cycle it and find what works for you, okay? So as long as it's, it, okay, Let's, let's figure out a barrier for entry. So if you're cutting out bread, rice, pasta, refined sugars, medication, antibiotics, antidepressants, um, excessive amounts of exercise, uh, not, lack of sleep, cut all those things out. It doesn't matter if you're a meat eater or a vegetarian, okay? You're going to be fine. In fact, go to my uh, Instagram, uh, tinnitus underscore treatment underscore Liam, and go look at my story. I posted two more testimonials today of people who are getting rid of their tinnitus bit by bit, day by day. And I don't even know if they're meat eaters or vegetarians. In fact, it doesn't matter. The fact is they're following the guide and it's working. And the main thing you can do is to cut out coffee. It's just a drug. It's just a drug. It does as much harm, not as much harm, but it's, it's bad alongside medication and antibiotics and antidepressants, okay? So if you're a vegetarian, just know it's going to take you longer because as I should have looped back before, our body needs certain things that's inside meat, okay? And you can say it's inflammatory, you can say all this crap, but you're probably eating bad quality meat, you're eating too much of it, um, or you're eating the wrong parts. You should be eating the glands and um, things like pancreas, liver, thyroid, kidney, glands and um, organs are the parts you want to be eating. 
and nowhere even sells that. And here's a funny thing as well. You're probably not even eating enough fat because here's the thing with vegans and, and vegetarians. They eat protein powder because it's, it's, you, you can get protein from uh, vegetables and fruits and nuts, but it's harder to get. You have to eat more of it. And I know that because I did it. But here's the thing. If you eat protein powder, it's bullshit. It's fucking garbage, okay? There's waste products in protein powder, okay? And I know a lot of vegans. I used to date a vegan girl and she always looked sick and she always had bags under her eyes and I just said, just eat a bit of meat. She said, no, 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 no. And there's so many videos now. There's even that guy on YouTube. Um, I forget his name. If you know his name, please let me know. But he was a, ve a vegan for a vegetarian for eight years or something and now he started eating meat and his health problems just fucking cleared up. So... If you're eating protein powder to replace the protein that you should be eating in meat, just have a fucking think about that. Does that even make sense? How does that even make sense? Like, <laughs> there's no logic behind that. You could just, because the meat is healthy, it's fine. But, um, foregoing the moral aspect of it, but the thing with protein powder is there's a waste product. When you burn protein for energy, which is what it is basically, there's waste products. You have lactate, acetate, and that shit is, you will find it very if you're if you're a vegan and you're eating protein powder just throw it in the bin right now okay i don't care if it's hemp or anything like that you can't have it okay and another thing is if you if you see my videos on evian water and fiji water and you can't get in that in, in your local town just get the next best thing okay but if you can get it in your local town and it's expensive get it anyway fast for 24 hours save money and buy it okay it's as simple as that okay one more thing i want to say as well about people who ask me for advice for tinnitus okay it's that they, they, they see the, the process they have to go to, and it's not easy. It's not a walk in the park, but it's easier than spending thousands of dollars and dealing with habituation and having people tell you it's your life and you've got to deal with it and going through depression and going on forums and basically killing yourself. It's fucking easier than that, isn't it? And I went through that shit too. But here's the thing. Don't try and make it easier, okay? Because I get a lot of questions all the time, and it, I, I can see what you guys are doing. You're asking these questions, and you're saying, oh, can I do this? Can I do that? And you're, you're trying to justify the path of least resistance. Let me ask you this. If getting rid of tinnitus was, it's pretty simple, but if it was really easy, like if it was really easy, do you think that millions of people in the world would have tinnitus right now? If weight loss was easy, okay, do you think that millions of people in the world would be obese right now? Do you think if making money online was instant and easy. Do you think that there'd be, you know, millions and millions of people who are millionaires online? Okay. Do you think if finding and dating the person of your dreams was easy, that you could um, just there'll be more people doing that? So think about it, because there's always people who want to take the easier route, and maybe you know they don't want to go through the pain of doing it risk of failure and they create these bullshit reasons as to why they can't do it or to why they shouldn't even want to do it and most people and most people um will ask me like you know i get this all the time and i check my instagram what are your credentials what are your credentials my fucking results are the credentials if you just follow my instagram i'm popping testimonials up in there last four days in a row my instagram story testimonial 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 it's never ending now it's just steamrolling it's never going to stop it's never going to stop now but anyway that's about veganism and tinnitus if you're a vegan you can get over tinnitus it's going to take longer but have a think about the logic of having to supplement your diet with something man-made because you can't um you don't want to eat what literally mother nature just gives to you this is liam and this is about tinnitus and veganism talk soon